previously on Scooter Boy. A potentially fiendish foe finds his way onto the farm. But don't threat, this fine fellow is just here for a hard day's work. So the boys go to war with the Lorax and make themselves enough money to buy them a new tractor. But wait, the tractor isn't good enough to plow the field. Ah, foiled again. What's going to happen this time on Scooter Boy? In a world where this man in black is fighting back, one man, one chainsaw, one scooter. Well, this sucks. Coming to a TV near you, Scooter Boy. This town ain't big enough for the scoot of us. Boys, I've got great news. We did a little bit more work yesterday, took down some more trees, and now we have $8,132 in the bank account. Now, you know what that means? We can finally get rid of the lease on this Mahindra and buy ourselves a truck. We're finally going to actually own the first piece of equipment so far on this series. Not only that, we should have enough money to be able to get some seed and maybe even a planter to get that field planted. Some things are moving along rather well here so far. Let's get into it. All right, we brought the Mahindra all the way back up here to do one final thing. I want to return the subsoiler at the same time. So we're going to fire up the old Zetter and get, try and get this subsoiler lifted up onto the back of the Mahindra. Uh, though this subsoiler looks a little big for that, doesn't it? I don't know if that's gonna work. Oh, actually, here, let's go over to a hill. Ah, here we go. This should work a little bit better. Line it up, back it up on there. Come on now. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Well, the brakes, uh, the brakes need a little work. But we should be able to disconnect that and strap it down. Look at that. Now we've got the subsoiler kind of technically loaded up and we can take these both back and return them. And we're back. All we gotta do is pull these right over next to the building, right on into here, and we can return them. Yes! Oh God, yes! All right, now that that's been done, I wanna see if they have any cedars for sale and just what those cedars might cost. So if we take a look, the cheapest planter to cost is $15,000, and this will plant corn, soybeans, sunflowers, oilseed radish, and cotton. That took me a minute to get there. But if we look at the cedars, the cheapest one is $33,000, and that will plant uh, various crop types. And I'm not going to go through the whole list. You get the idea. Now, unfortunately, this time of year, the only thing we can plant is canola. Moments later. Or oilseed radish or grass or technically poplars as well. It's just work is bored. But the true challenge is figuring out what we want to plant because then we're going to have to get all of the equipment to be able to harvest that crop. So for now, I think we're just going to look and see what they have for trucks on the lot. And they have this really nice 1972 Ford F-150. This thing's got quite a few miles on it, but it is recently pretty well restored a little bit still need a little bit work done to it but it's they're asking three thousand nine hundred and seventy four dollars and i think that's a steal so you know what we have eight thousand dollars let's go ahead and buy it and just like that we're down to four thousand one hundred and fifty eight dollars let's take our new truck for a spin shall we Woo! listen to that thing that ooh. oh i'm so excited that we have this truck and that means we're going to be able to haul even more logs and eventually we'll be able to put a ball hitch on this thing haul trailers we'll be able to do a lot of stuff to this truck but right now we went the cheapest that we could to get it so it doesn't have all the bells and whistles that we can do to it but hey you know what it is an upgrade so i'll take it let's get back up to our place and get back to work all right we're back at our place and we should probably go ahead and plant that in canola now that i've been thinking about it but we have a problem for one, we need to get a planter, but two, we have these massive rocks that the subsoiler knocked up and we have to get them out of the field. And they are littered everywhere throughout this field and they're far too big for us to ignore. So we're going to have to get a rock picker, unfortunately. Unfortunately, the rock picker is going to cost us $1,200, almost $1,300. And it requires 100 horsepower to pull where we only have 25. But it's not like we have that much of a choice. So we're just going to have to rent one and then see if we can pull it with the old Z. But before we do that, we want to cover our potential losses here a little bit. So we're going to cut down a couple more trees and take them to sell. So we'll get all these logs loaded up into the back of our new truck and we'll see just how much money this is going to get us. Probably not near enough. Well, we didn't have quite enough to load up the truck. So we had to cut down another tree here and we're just cutting it into pieces to put it in the back of the truck. I'm thinking in total, we'll probably get about $1,500, $2,000 off of what we're hauling in here, which in my thought process should at least cover us for the leg 
the lease of uh, the rock picker. Wow, guys, we can haul so much more wood in this truck. Not only that, but we can use it for so many other things. And it's not a lease. We actually own this vehicle, which means it's not going to cost us near as much every single month. I know we just got it, but I have a feeling that that truck, like acquiring that truck is going to save us a lot of money. And money is not an easy thing to come across. So that might just save our farm. It might just be the single-handedly most important piece of equipment that we have purchased so far. Though it's also the only thing we purchased, so, you know. Alright, you know what? That's getting a little full, so why don't we just go and get this load? Jeez, it backs up fast. Sold. Why don't, uh... <laughs> Ooh, man. You know what? So much just happened that my brain stopped working. But a truck like this, you know, it, that'll, it'll have an effect on you like that. You know what I'm saying? Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Oh, she's squatting, boys. What's that? Probably shouldn't be doing 88 miles per hour down a dirt road with a full deal of logs. Yeah, you're right. But what's the fun in that, huh? All right. Let's see just how much that load is going to make for us. $2,349. Woo. That was real good. Shoot. Maybe we should go get another truck tree real quick. Ah, oh, we already ran into something with our new truck. It'll buff out. It'll be fine. All right, Jake, whatever you do, do not drop this on your truck. Do not drop it on your new truck, okay? Let's see what happens. Don't fall that way. Don't fall that way. Don't fall that way. Don't fall. Ooh, timber. Nice. Honestly, Knowing me, I would have totally dropped that on my truck. Would have been the ultimate attack by the Lorax, man. But at least the Lorax knows you don't attack another man's truck. Especially when it's an old body style like that, right? Well, we're going to get this tree all cut up, but we'll get down to the store here shortly and get ourselves a rock picker so we can get that field ready to be planted. Oh, well, I think I broke her freaking serious and sold another $1,726 we're back up to $8,223 so you know what that means oh you have got to be kidding me I'm gonna have to go all the way back just to get the Zetter aren't I well this is gonna be a long drive you know what that means it's song session time well I'm a god veered hard-working combine driver hogging up the road plower I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world, I'm blue, da ba dee da ba die da ba dee da ba die da I don't even know if those are the words. But good news, everyone. We finally made it back to the shop and can haul that stupid cedar back to the farm. I'm just hoping we can put that seed in that cedar and then get to work. Oh, wait a minute. I was gonna do the rocks first. Uh-oh. I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is we were able to put just over half of that seed into the cedar. The bad news is I actually need a rock picker. So for the time being, looks like we're gonna spend another $1,300 and uh, we don't get to plant quite yet. Ah, uh, you'd love to see it. Up $8,000. Now you're down to 4440 This is the life of the farmer, I guess. Let's go rock pick this stupid field. I'm a little concerned when the smallest rock picker looks like it could eat our tractor, but, you know, we'll try it. Well, I got good news and bad news. The good news is we got the rock picker here. The bad news is we don't have enough power to run the rock picker. So, long story short, I think the Zetter's gotta go. If we take a look, the stone picker requires 100 horsepower, the cedar requires 125 horsepower, and our tractor has 25 horsepower. So we're about 100 shy. So here's what's happened. We're gonna have to lease a tractor for three thousand dollars that has enough horsepower we're gonna have to get rid of the zetter which was on a lease anyway so no big deal but all of that means we're gonna be fine we're gonna finally be able to put crop in the ground the problem is we're only at one thousand four hundred and five dollars in the bank now so sounds to me like we're gonna be cutting more trees again all right zetter it's been fun but it's time for the dealership to take you back we went from old school to no that's a door to new school. Look at that. We've got a cab now. We've got air conditioning. This is the Massey Ferguson 470 4710M. Numbers are hard, okay? It's got about 100 horsepower, and let's go ahead and uh, hope that it's heavy enough to pull that cedar. Wow, this thing is really quiet in here, isn't it? I got used to having that open cab zetter that was really loud, and this is almost eerily quiet but we're uh we've got the what you call it on the hoochama dig it and now we're gonna drive back to the where you store it uh you look yeah i didn't have anything clever for the last one okay just deal with it all right we got that back time to do the old switcheroo onto the rock picker and get these 
blasted rocks out of the field. And I have a feeling that this is about all I'm going to be able to stand doing today by the time we get done with these rocks. So we're just going to get the rocks out of the field and next episode we'll get right on into planting. <laughs>